Welcome back to episode two of the tutorial series I'm making. To in today's episode, we're going to work on making a very simple corner and then connecting a switch from the turnout. Okay, to start off, we're going to need some groundwork over here. And if you remember from my first episode, I put a sample piece of groundwork there hidden among the trees so that I know the height that I work the track at. So I can bring a piece over here and let's put some groundwork out. Now since the last episode I've already cleared some trees so I know where the path is that I want to build and I'm sure everyone didn't want to see me make a tree simulator, tree cutting simulator. Okay, now what we're going to do here, and this is something that I do, is I actually make a fan of groundwork so that they're single spline placements. And it gives me lots of room to build the curve on without needing to try and change the radius of the curve as I'm building it. So you just keep moving forward slightly. Oh, let me place it. There we go. Forward again. And because these are single segment splines, they'll all stay nice and level. Okay, and that gives me an idea somewhere of where I want the track to go, down that way. And you can see this has given me a nice wide area here to be able to build on, and you can see it's all level because there's Z fighting going on everywhere. And I will be able to get a corner in there. Now I'm going to aim to put an 18 degree corner in there. So, as we've done previously, to start off the piece of track, we'll start at the cross track. And this is this is painful. And this is something I wish the devs had fixed, is when you go to place your first piece on, and we can see there that it is stuck on the switch menu, and we don't want that. And you've got to be very, very cheeky and grab it like that. And no, we still didn't get it. Get rid of the menu, and we still didn't get it. And we still didn't get it. And we still didn't get it. Yes, this is annoying. Please fix this, devs. There we go. Now we've got our helper menu. Okay, and seven tie spacings again, which is, it's not so important on a straight, but it is when we get to the corner. Right, now, the first segment, as you come into the corner, you need to ease in to the corner. Because if you don't ease into the corner, as the train's in here, it goes from suddenly being straight to suddenly trying to go around a sharp corner, and that derails trains. Um, and so we want to go about five degrees for the first segment, and then we can go up to our desired turn radius which is 18, and we'll place down 18. And it's important that every single segment you put around the curve is the same length. And don't worry about what's building behind you, just make sure that you're on the same setting and every segment you make is the same length. And we're doing them at seven ties. And look at that, we've run off the edge, but that's okay, because we've actually built past where we want the track to point at. And the reason for that is we will turn around and we will delete the last segment, because the last segment does not conform to the spline, the curve of the spline. 
And you can see there we're pointing off that direction, which isn't good either because we want to connect a turnout onto there. So we need to take off one more. And we can come all the way back up here to the start now. And because the first segment of the spline was over the switch, we can just remove the switch. It will conform to a straight. Now, this is a bit tricky bit of operation here. The idea of what we're trying to achieve is to be able to put a cross track here by turning the switches. Now, the first step is put in a switch, which gives us the length to the other end. And it doesn't matter which switch you use. And then we can put a cross track on the end, turn around, delete the switch. Now we want one that will exit to the left side. So we'll choose this one. And that gives us our position on this side where we can put the cross track. Now, of course, the it's not the wrong shape switch for where we want to go. We need to measure back the distance again, so it doesn't matter which one we place down, just so that we can get our distance set. And I think we've misaligned there. We're going to have to go back and delete, which is a thing when you're building here in Railroads Online, that you'll build it and then you'll unbuild it and then you'll build it again, and you'll build it again, and you'll build it several times over. But there you can see we have connected on here with the turnout. And we've got our track ready to build this way up to the spawn areas. And we've got the track ready this way to build into the trees, apparently. So we will remove it and try again. And what we'll do is we'll just take one more segment off the corner, which will change the position of where we're pointing, and we'll build it again. So first one down to get the spacing, cross track on the end, remove that, and then we want to put the piece in so that we can get cross track where we need it, which aligns with the second track that comes in. Delete it again. Let me delete it. And then measure back again. Cross track back on this end. Turn around and delete it one more time. And now this is the one we're actually going to use. And there we go, we're connected again to the track we built in from, connected to the turnout. And we're now lined in the correct direction. And let's remove the things we don't need. And we need this here on the end to be able to build that way. And we will put some ground works out this direction because that will be the next place that we're building at. And there we have it. The only thing that's left to build on this section now is to delete all the temporary ground works and put the finished ground works in and sink the tyres. Um, but I'm going to end this episode here on just the corner and the switch so that I don't make the episodes too long. That way I can upload them with better quality on the, my very, very poor Outback Internet. Okay, so I hope everyone learnt something from this video on how to connect to the turnout and how to ease into a corner and make a smooth corner by keeping the segment length the same over every segment of a corner. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in episode three.